Greetings from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm Dr. Jose Raul Montes, oculofacial surgeon based here in San Juan. I think I became a doctor because I was good in sciences when I was growing up and also because I realized that the field was very exciting but once I grew older I realized that I wanted to work within an environment in which I could be my own boss and medicine was probably the right choice. When you are in medical school, actually you are not 100% sure what is what you want to do after. So I was drawn to several fields within medicine. I remember in my rotations that I used to love my pediatrics rotation just because I love kids um, but then further up on the rotations I realized that I wanted to pursue a field in which I could probably do surgery and when I rotated on, in ophthalmology I found it the perfect field very fine surgery with the possibility of life transforming experiences and um, very, very interesting. I mean, ophthalmology is a subspecialty on itself that has like probably seven, six, seven to eight subspecialties. And among them, I thought that oculofacial surgery was the right choice for me because I like the surgeries in a more macro um, field and because of the possibilities of doing all sorts of pathologies such as uh, reconstructive trauma cosmetic surgery as well. I have a combined practice here in San Juan. I have my own private clinic, Jose Raul Montes Eyes and Facial Rejuvenation, and my clinic is 100% cosmetic. The, the surgical procedures that are usually performed in my clinics are mostly eyelid surgery, upper blepharo blepharoplasty, lower blepharoplasty, and brow lifting procedures. Among all the cosmetic treatments that we perform in my clinic, I would say that Botox is king. For men and women, Botox is the most sought after procedures for the past, I would say, 10, 15 years, and it's gonna be the most popular procedures in the upcoming years as well. After my training in ophthalmology at the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Puerto Rico, um, I went to University of Cincinnati to complete a fellowship in oculofacial surgery. And uh, I am a board certified ophthalmology and oculofacial surgeon. I'm a fellow of the ASOPERS. American Society of Ophthalmic Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, also a fellow of the American Board of Ophthalmology, and I'm very proud that after 25 years being at the university, mentoring students and teaching residents, I am a full professor at the University of Puerto Rico Department of Ophthalmology. Patient care is old in the career of any physician. And I believe it all starts by giving the patient 
the space to express their concerns and also by having 100% of the times compassion towards the patients no matter what are the conditions or diagnosis that you are dealing with and you have to be accessible as a provider. Patients need to feel that you are there for them and that you really care for them. Sometimes I feel that I need a parallel extra life to complete or to pursue all the interests that I have beside my work as a physician, as a cosmetic surgeon. I'm involved in music. At the moment, I am the artistic coordinator of Culturarte of Puerto Rico, which is an organization that puts together basically concerts in classical music. I'm also a board member of the University of Puerto Rico Theater. I have been involved in museum art boards, so I have a very, very deep and genuine uh, interest in arts and music. And also, I love to write. And well, you know, as a cosmetic surgeon, I have a wide interest in beauty. Beauty at every level and in everything. So basically, I read about travel destinations, about architecture, about fashion, and about any human endeavor that has in the question beauty as a result. I have many other interests besides medicine or oculofacial surgery. As you can see, I have a passion for arts in several forms. Uh, there is art in my office, everywhere, like behind me. This is an artwork by well-known Puerto Rican artist Jose Lerma. Nowadays, I think that we have uh, social media platforms that are ideal to reach out to any physician. I'm not the exception. I am very responsive with, when patients uh, write to me on my Instagram account. So feel free to reach out to me, to contact me and ask me questions at my Instagram account, jrmontesmd.